Hello guys, welcome back to Motive Rides. Mike over here. I'm here with Paul and Nairobi Power Bikes. Today we're looking at two uh, good, powerful power bikes. One which is 400 and one which is 300. So Paul will run us through the bikes and uh, let you know where you can get it at the best possible price. Motive Rides, man. So Paul, over to you. So welcome guys. Uh, my name is Paul from Nairobi Power Bikes. Here we start with the 400cc. This is the Taro Ranger 400cc. Uh, for one, this is a really good bike because it has two cylinders, it's a double cylinder, so it has that power. Mm. And again, it has the ABS braking system, it has good braking system on the front wheel and the rear rim, on the rear wheel, and also equipped with the double disc brake, as you can see over here. It has the double disc brake on the front, but one ABS on the side, and the rear rim also has ABS. It also has the EFI engine system, which means efficient fuel injection. So it will save you it, it will save you a lot of fuel too uh, and uh, you won't experience any hard start with this bike and again the screen has the bluetooth connectivity you can connect your phone with the bluetooth when your phone rings or messages you can see the notification on the screen so it's inbuilt inbuilt bluetooth and again it has the dohc engine capacity um, it's a really good performance uh, the DOHC, the double double overhead camshift system, really good for this 400cc, gives it extra power performance. And also has the ECU database. So it's electronic, um, has really good features. Of course, it has the twin cylinder, has the EFI engine system, has DOHC. It's a really good bike to advance from maybe to 50cc or 300cc. For beginners, the 400, it will be a bit of challenge, but you can still do your best. If you want to begin with this bike, who am I to say no? You can come check us out, get to know about the bike. The price of this bike goes for 630,000 Kenyan shillings, Kenyan registered, ready logbook, two years warranty on the engine. Mm. So in case of any question, feel free to call. Also has the radiator. It's a liquid cool bike. So you can do long distance with this bike. Non-stop, really good for long distance. Over to you. Yeah, now in terms of uh, spare parts, do we have uh, all of them here? And just in case someone buys, because it's a new bike in Kenya, uh, for the 400cc, normally people have the other sports bikes. So this one, do you have the spare parts? If, if someone may ask. Yes, we have the spare parts. The good thing about this bike doesn't have the plastic fairings like the sports bike version. You see over here, it's all metallic. This is this is metallic, metallic. So even the tank, it's also metallic. So maintaining this bike will be really cheap for you guys. And in case maybe you are far away and you need the spare part urgently, maybe the clutch lever, brake lever, it's, it can be compatible with most bikes out there. So let's say you need the clutch lever and you're in Nakuru. You can go with the sample in a, in a motorbike shop that sells the spare parts. Go and search for that specific spare parts and you'll get it. So any any problem with the spare parts you won't experience that. Uh, what about the power in terms of horsepower and everything? People will probably want to know. Mm. Is there a range? Is there a range you can know or approximate? Mm. Yeah, the horsepower for this bike uh, ranges between I'm not 33 to to 30, 35 there. Okay. I'm not very sure, but I'll have to confirm that. Okay. That's good. We'll, mm. we'll, we'll show all the stats on the screen, so guys, I'll stick until the end of the video. Now over to the next bike, please. Mm. So this is the Vogue 300cc, that's the Taro 400cc. The what about this bike? So this is the Vogue 300cc Scrambler, that's the Taro Ranger 400cc. So the main difference about this bike of course is the CC, this is the 300, that's the 400. The price of this bike goes for 510,000, negotiable, slightly negotiable. For this goes for 630,000 Kenyan shillings. This bike has the EFI braking system. It also it's also good for beginners. Uh, it's also good for beginners since it's a 300 cc. It's not that powerful as the 400 cc. Has the disc brake on the front rim and the rear rim. Comes with the inverted shocks, so it's good. It's good for uh, for for comfortability, especially on rough roads and tough terrains also has the engine gun over here this is the engine gun so in case you are going to the tough terrains that engine guard will really sort you out 
and the sitting position is very comfortable. You are seated upright, so you won't be getting tired uh, if you are doing long journey. Also equipped with the, uh, what is this called? A charging USB port, USB yeah, USB USB. charging port. Has the USB charging port and has the DOHC engine capacity. Though it's a single cylinder, has that has that good sound. Yeah, mm. you can hear the sound so that you know what it's talking about. Mm. Cc 400 cc from my own perspective probably harrow in terms of looks sexy but i'll also uh just like to probably see this bike on the road more often because uh this type of bike are rare to find just because of the uh sitting places and all that so i want to ask can can both of them fit two people right yes the the, the rider and the, and the passenger yes yes the rider this is the seat for the rider mm -hmm. and for the passenger mm -hmm. but uh, in case maybe you are feeling maybe at risk of falling down mm -hmm. you can add a top box or maybe another seat for mm -hmm. uh, extra support over here mm -hmm. yeah some people put in the top box at the rear side some people put in that seat that passenger seat yeah your choice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nairobi power bikes is the place to get this bike in Kenya so most of you guys do subscribe hit the like button share thoughts in the comment section below man cheers guys thanks <laughs>